Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're back on Ark again today for episode 7 of the colonisation series, and today we'll be making the bar, the main leisure attraction for residents of and visitors to the Skylake village. This building will be fairly tall, as most of it is stood on tall stilts, and it will have two floors. The bottom floor will house the bar, and the top floor having some small bedrooms for overnight stays, mainly for traders and other visitors to the village. Firstly, I'm going to place foundations down on the edge of this little ledge we have here. This will serve as the entranceway to the bar and the outside drinking area for days when the weather is good. When these are down, I'll then place ceilings out from the cliff with pillars supporting them. Remember when building these ceilings to build the pillars down from one tile, and when they're down on the ground, remove that tile and all but the ground pillar, and then build up the grid so that the pillars don't stick too much through the floor, although the clipping may be a bit awkward here, I did find it a tad awkward, but it worked out alright. When this was done, I built the usual wall structure of stone walls on the bottom and then wooden walls above them, placing greenhouse walls down throughout the build for natural light. I also set the doorway one tile further into the structure to allow for a, a sort of like a bay type of window. When this was done, I also placed stone railings around the outside porch area and extended part of the foundations in that area for a larger outside drinking plaza. I then placed down ceilings to lay the floor for the second level of the bar. I left the section open for a wooden staircase to the second floor as well. I then placed down the walls to section off parts of the second floor into five small bedrooms, each in a 2 by one size. I only placed down the stone walls for this stage of the build, just so you can see it a bit better, but later on I added wooden walls above them for a little bit more privacy for the residents, though I still left them open top. When the walls and bedrooms were done on the second floor, I then placed down the roof. Due to the size of the bar, the roof would be a one tile wide flat apex as opposed to a pointed one. The roof itself therefore would be compromised of two layers of stone roofing on each side and then greenhouse ceilings on the apex. Finally, when this was done, it was time to furnish. I placed signs outside of the bar to show the opening hours, as well as added some tables and chairs to the drinking area. Inside the bar, there are many tables and chairs inside to accommodate residents of the village and visitors, as well as chairs up against the bar itself. The bar is a very simple construction of tables with stone railings underneath, which actually turned out to look quite nice. Behind the bar itself, I've placed beer barrels, for obvious reasons. 
The bar itself has a sign up for last orders an hour before closing time. Heading upstairs there is a very simple and efficient bedroom setup. Some bedrooms have double beds and some have singles with all rooms having a table. The case could be made for bigger rooms and storage space inside them but these rooms are obviously not intended for long stays hence why they are so minimalistic. And there we have it the Skylake Village Bar, a simple leisure attraction for the settlement. If you have enjoyed do go ahead and drop a like on this video and let me know what you thought in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the channel whilst you're there, the Skylake Village is filling up quickly but there are still a few things to do here until we're done with Season 1 of the Colonisation series, with the next build being the Trading Station, so do subscribe to make sure you don't miss that. Again, thanks for watching and I shall see you soon.